A text without a context becomes a pretext for a proof text. You have to read text within their context. Read the text and read all around the text. And uh, I find it difficult to be given a particular text if you're just taking it straight away out of nothing. And uh, so you begin to ask questions about the context, about the book context, about the immediate context, about where the whole thing fits in, in the Bible. And, read around it as widely as possible and then begin to home in and start looking at the, the, the particular detail uh, of this specific text that you've got to preach on. Read the text. The Bible is his own interpreter. So you read the passage. I read the text many times, many times over. Then, But I read it with an understanding that I am looking for something. The Bible is written within Within a contest, there are many contests to look at. The context of the book itself, the literary context, it's important. I also need to understand the context of the first two recipients. And context helps me to know what it meant for the first recipients and what it means to them then before it's, I begin to think of what it means to us to me today and to the church today? Well, I think that the Bible is um, a, a applied truth. So the key thing is to uh, read the passage in context and to uh, look at where that particular passage is trying to apply the truth in that situation and then to bring that application through to today. So it's just trying to remember that uh, all of the Bible is applied and then trying to uh, make sure that you uh, bring that application out so that it, it hits uh, people's uh, hearts and minds and lives. The critical thing to think about is uh, the context. Where are we in the story of the Bible? Where are we in terms of God's revelation of his promises, say to Abraham or to Moses or to David? Um, where are we in um, the, the literary context? Where, where are we in the particular book and uh, what comes immediately afterwards. The, these are the sorts of things that I'm thinking about as I look at a passage. Theological context is what matters yes. most of all. So my biggest understanding of the Jesus in the Gospels comes if I understand the, what the Old Testament's got to tell me uh, uh, about the Messiah who'll come. What I find helpful is to make sure I've, I've seen it in the flow of what's come before and what's about to go after. So it's hard work. Uh, there's no shortcut, there's no easy way just to make a good job of that text on its own. So the key thing is to try and get the flow of the chapter or the book and indeed the testament um, in order that I can responsibly unpack that particular uh, piece of, of text. The big thing I think is looking at the whole of the Bible, how does that bit of the text fit in the book, how does that book fit into the Bible? It's the big picture that we need to look at and then try to get into more of the detail of what's it saying at that point in the text. Really, with a text, I'm looking to stand up and think, why is this the most important passage of scripture in the Bible? Because all of Bible is, the Bible is God-breathed. Every part of it is absolutely indispensable. Why is this part indispensable as it's here in its context? If I can get that, then hopefully I will really be seeing for my life and others why I need to be preaching. I guess there's lots of different, well, a number of different contexts to take into account as we uh, uh, listen uh, carefully to God and His Word. We want to look at the, the, the context of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the passage itself, the passage in relation to the book, the book in relation to the whole Bible. And of course within that there is the, the historical uh, true story that it fits into. Um, I think the important thing there is that all the information that we need for understanding that historical situation is in the scriptures. That there may be ways in which we're helped uh, by things from outside, but actually the information that we need to understand the scriptures rightly is there in the text for us. I think you need a wide lens to look around across the Bible and make sure that you're seeing your text in its context and then you need to spend time digging into the text and discovering all the treasures that are in the text. Well, one of the things I like to do is ask four C's. I like to ask about the context, the content, Christ, and consequences. So first of all, context, where does this come in the letter or portion of scripture, in, in the whole of scripture? What is the context here? Content, 
what do these words actually say? What do they mean? What are the linking words? What are the words I don't understand? What are the connecting words? How do they follow on? What's the logic here? Christ, he's the big one. I'm looking to preach Christ from the text and therefore I'm always asking, how does this passage point me to Jesus Christ? And then consequences, thinking how does the passage apply? What are the uh, applications here? What's the so what from this passage? So those are, those are four C's that I, I use in my preparation.